Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have a quarantine update. I already did an update when the lockdown here in the country started, but today I want to rather focus on what I've been doing to prepare a bit, as far as possible that is, in times like this. Before we start we have to have a little disclaimer, I'll be telling you some buying decisions of mine, but please take it as what it is. It is me sharing what I've been doing, this is no financial advice. We are all still in this crisis, so I just wanted to share, be careful with your own decisions and do your own research, as always. First of all, I want to take a look at Bitcoin, as it is always something I return to in times of uncertainty. From the very beginning of the crisis, I've been cost averaging into PTC again. DCA, dollar cost average, means to buy amounts on a regular basis, regardless of what is occurring on the market. Often this simple strategy turns out to be profitable and again I have to say yes it's just a momentary snapshot but even with the market breaking down a second time I'm still in profit and it was a good decision already. Looking at the chart I will show you the low points and the high points I have been buying in and I have done this multiple times a week. What I have to spend right now, I can do so by using my crypto debit cards. We had a video on that on the channel, but I will have some updates on that too this year, as I've been experimenting with new services again. Generally though, I like to keep some money in Bitcoin, in a wallet I have the private key for. At the same time, I will try to leave some other money parked on the exchanges I can then use in cases we have some drops. If you're interested in the whole topic of exchanges, please tell me in the comments, but there might be a different kind of video upcoming either way very soon. Besides Bitcoin, I have also been buying some gold right around the drop which is also already in profit. Today it seems to be difficult to find actual physical gold without too much premium, as people are going crazy there and hoarding. I have to state that I prioritize Bitcoin over gold, as BTC is just more usable, quicker, has more movement and there are multiple ways I could spend it in emergencies. Gold is rather an immobile store of value for me and I don't necessarily buy it for the monetary gains. That's a side bonus if it happens, but I buy it for the fact that it's immobile and just values parked in a different way. I would even add a little bit more right now, but I'm not willing to pay the premiums on the physical gold. In terms of gold stocks or contracts or anything promising digital gold, nah, I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. For me it's either a real blockchain or something physical to store myself and be responsible of. As you can see, in times like these, it almost makes me a bit nervous to have money in fiat currency. We all know how the money printing machines are currently working full time in most countries. Therefore, I personally don't like to stay in that currency with what I can avoid. Again, no financial advice, but I found it important to be transparent about the things I'm doing. I'm not hoarding anything, just when the world is in crisis, I like to reorganize the ways I hold my values. I also do rebalance my crypto portfolio itself, as these are times to reevaluate and reorganize things for me. I don't want this video to be only about what I've been buying, but I also wanted to share some content with you, which set my mind a bit straight and made me want to prepare, almost making me a bit acceptant of a situation I cannot change right now, and try to make the best of it. One thing I'd like to show you, and generally a dear recommendation, is Joe Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. If you don't know it, a huge variety of guests on all topics in the world you could imagine. I often like it as background talk while doing something else to shut off my mind or often end up inspired. Especially I want to recommend the podcast with Michael Osterholm to you. It's about one and a half hour but it's a very a scientific and realistic view on how long the situation might actually be here for us to live with. Some sobering numbers folks to be honest, but I still hope we can all use that time for something good. That's already it folks, week 2 of lockdown now and I'm still moving more than before to be honest. No worries, I have been respecting the regulations so when I was out and it was not post office, shopping or bank, I stayed alone. 
I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sorry that I can't pump out pure build content at the moment for some diversion, but also for me right now, pretty bad timing with everything at the same time. So while I'm well, I have to be honest, I've been struggling with my time since the madness started. I'm glad you folks and the channel exist though. There are not many consistencies in times like these, and you can be sure I will never stop as long as I can. What I can tell you is that I'm also planning new videos with interesting new people, so there is more hardware to look forward to. That I can promise. Please be safe folks. I wish all the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!